Yeah, I'm going to try a little experiment here. Um, this is a piece of uh, 18 gauge sheet metal, and you can see it's rusty. It's actually not that rusty on the other side. Now, I can easily just take the DA sander with some 80 grit and get it all clean. But uh, I just want to try a little experiment. Um, this has a little bit more than 50% white vinegar. And it's just an ordinary cooking pan or cookie pan, whatever the hell you want to call it, baking pan. And what I'm going to do <clears throat> is I'm going to let this soak. And see how what it does to the um, <clears throat> metal, to the rust. And see what it, how it does over a period of timeline. From my experience before, this stuff really does a job on it. So, anyway, we'll let that soak. All right, put something under here to prop it up just to here. And we'll let it uh, we'll let it sit. We'll let it sit. See how it works out. So anyway, this will be an experiment, and uh, I'm, I think it's going to take the rust off 100%. I've done something like this before on fuel tanks, but uh, just want to see where, where, how long it takes to work. And uh, it's pretty heavily rusted, but you know, it's like a matter of just give it some time. <clears throat> it should come out perfectly clean. And... Uh, what I'll do is I'll probably just lightly sandblast this because I'm going to be using this uh, for some metal repair. A couple minor spots on a Jeep I have left to do. And, um, you know, this is the right stuff for it. So let's see if it cleans it up really good. Well, this worked very fast because uh, I think it's only been a few hours. And I just was taking, this is uh, using my finger, right? And uh, this is pretty heavily rusted, too. I'm going like this. No sandpaper, nothing. See that? Gone. Let's take it over here. This is pretty rusted. See that? It's gone. Pure shiny metal. Hmm. <laughs> Works better than I expected. You gotta have a little patience, but you know, if I, I didn't even, I'm using my finger now. This is a little bit of a paint or something, I think, on there. But it comes right off. How's that? This is some pretty heavily rusted stuff, too. So, I'll be using this uh, probably tomorrow or the next day and uh, putting it on a last section of the jeep actually the rust is all killed on the jeep it just needs to be um, uh, a couple little patch panels that's uh, a little two inch area by five inches or something on the bottom of the fenders look at that now the water's a little bit murky because of the rust you know it, you know because it's rusting here but see how clean that came out <laughs> from this it was pretty heavily rusted too so that vinegar does a job, man. That's fifty percent, so probably don't need that. Well, it was, you know, I'm gonna make sure this is sand it down good, but pretty damn good, pretty damn good. Just takes a little patience. So, why would you buy some stuff to, uh, you know, I don't want to name any name brands, but why would you buy some stuff to uh, remove rust when you got plain old vinegar? That's um, a whole gallon of that is like two dollars and thirty-eight cents. Talk about inexpensive. So how's that? <laughs> Man. But this was a little bit more than fifty percent. You don't want to use straight because uh, I think it works. I don't think it works as fast. But it's probably about sixty percent vinegar. 40% water, but you could see came out nice and shiny clean metal, didn't it? It's just some residue that's under there. You could, it's all shiny metal. Amazing. <laughs>